Psalm 24 A Psalm of David The earth is the Lord's, and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Selah Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. I want you to think about your prayer life, your intercession, the way you relate to God in consecration. And I believe right now, the Holy Ghost is calling for more consecration. Let us pray. Father, the whole world and everything in it belongs to you. We are your children, the sheep of your pasture. We acknowledge we were bought with a price, the precious blood of Jesus. We thank you for the forgiveness of sins. We declare our desire is to come before you with clean hands and a pure heart. We thank you for blessing us, for keeping us, for protecting and for providing for us. We pray we are the generation that will follow hard after you. We decree we will seek the Lord while he may be found. We will call upon your name while you are near. We declare you are a mighty God. We decree you are the King of glory and our hearts, our minds and spirit are open that you may enter and have your way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Make prayer a part of your life every single day.